Hello, it's Dawn here and welcome back. Well, we're going to finish this little series of putting life into our paintings by painting a person. Now, this isn't going to be a portrait or anything complicated. It's going to be a very simple person, perhaps walking away mid distance. In fact, we're going to make it so simple that you won't even see the face. They're going to be walking away from us. And I'm just going to show you how we do the basics. I shall do this a lot bigger than we would do it in our paintings. And then I'll bring in a little painting and I'll show you how we do it to scale, so to speak, or smaller. So a lot of people have said to me, oh, I can't even draw a stick man. So that's what we're going to start with, a stick. Well, a straight line anyway, straightish line. And I'll do this thicker and bolder. So that line represents the height of your person. And then we need to divide it up a little bit. So we go halfway up there, then halfway again, and halfway again. Now I know that doesn't look anything like a person, it looks more like a telegraph pole, but it will. So now we've got what we're going to do is, for want of a better word, join the dots. So this part, this top part here, represents the head. So we're going to draw a head. Now when we do this in a painting, you won't see all those lines because they'll disappear. And then from there to there, that's the body like this and then that bit there represents the legs and all you do is you bring them down so if he's walking the person's walking one would be slightly in front of the other and just to balance him out a bit we can perhaps put his hand in his pocket now that really doesn't even that doesn't look much like a person but if you use these same principles and put them in a painting which is what we're going to do right now it will i promise so we're going to start with this one here. We're going to do two people walking off in the distance, I think. And we'll start perhaps a couple walking off into the woods. And so we'll divide it up. I've got my pencil here and we'll have him there. And we're going to divide it there, there and there. And we'll do the same on the, the person next one, just like that. And I think we'll have him with dark hair so if we start at the top and he's got dark hair so we'll just in that little top section there we're just going to put a dark this is just the darkest brown I've got just use the darkest brown or black or whatever color you want for your elements and that's for his head and I think we're going to give him a ready brown jacket so again bring the shoulders out just a little and bring it down like that and then again fill it in we're not going to put any water on this because they're so small they don't need water so just pop them on like that and it'll be fine you can adjust the shape as you go and i think we're going to give him some dark brown trousers so let's find a nice dark brown pen that'll do this is burnt umber you've got burnt umber in a lot of watercolor pencils so if that's what you want to use we'll give him some dark brown trousers whoops that shouldn't have happened never mind we'll carry on just pop it out of the way and we will bring the other leg down like that walking along the path just on the edge there like that and obviously he needs some arms so if we go back to our original color for the jacket just bring it down a bit as if he's got one hand anyway in his pocket and then we need someone next to him and I think we're going to give her perhaps it's a lady we'll give her a different color hair I think give her a lighter color hair so she's just here tucked in next to him and there is the head there maybe she's even slightly in front so there's the head just there like that and I think we're going to give her a brighter jacket. We'll give her a red jacket, I think. So just like that, bring it down like that. So they're so close, you can't even see the join. Isn't that nice? And so she's going to come like that. We'll save the pencil for a minute for her hand. And I think we're going to give her, I was going to give her some dark blue trousers, but I've lost, oh, there we go, we're all right. I'll carry on. We're going to give her some dark blue trousers. 
So like down there like that, just like we've done in the other demonstration. Um, down there like that. And so there you have a couple walking along. And what I am actually going to do, I'm going to bring this man's leg just a little bit further. It doesn't look quite balanced to me. That's better. Yeah, that looks a bit better. I do like things to look right, you know. And we'll have her, again, have her arm coming down into her pocket, or her hands coming down into her pocket. And as they're a couple, maybe we'll even have him putting his arm round her, just a little bit, like that. And there we have a couple walking off into the distance. And if you wanted to, you could use a darkish blue to add some shadow. So if we start there, just add a dark colour and just add a very light shadow coming from them, just to ground them a bit. And there you have a young couple walking off into the distance. Wasn't that simple. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little series of putting life into our paintings. And if you pop back tomorrow, we're going to be starting a new series on painting flowers. Not in any particular setting, just basic flowers. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do stay very safe, have fun with your paintings, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye for now.